The story of Athena Brownfield has touched the lives of people around the country, so much so that they are now working together to keep her memory alive. News Night's Chris Hugh shows us how. It's another sweltering day in Oklahoma, so seek some shade for relief. But at Sorrell Town Plaza, there's another type of relief. Relief that Athena Brownfield's name will live on. Anybody that's been hit by the story, you know, um, could visit. And we just wanted it to be as perfect as, as possible. This week, a memorial bench was installed in honor of Athena, the four-year-old who was reported missing in January after a postal worker spotted her sister wandering alone. So I sat just like everybody else by the TV, waiting for updates. Investigators found Athena's remains a week later. Her caretakers, Ivan and Alicia Adams, both arrested. I was in just shock of how things were unfolding. To honor Athena, three women, Daphne Chapman from Norman, Denise Jones from Mustang, and Taylor Sharpmack from Illinois, worked together to bring this memorial bench to Sorrell. That she's not forgotten, and we plan to hopefully do something on a yearly basis around her birthday. They presented the bench idea to the city and helped design it. Then Nelson Monument Company in Guthrie made it for free. It's beautiful. Um, we cleaned out the area, Daphne and I. We planted new items. Although the memorial bench was put in this week, the work is not yet done. The hope is to eventually install a pedestal with an angel sculpture and a plaque that says stop child abuse before it's too late. While they hope that message resonates, they have a message for Athena. You know, I tell her that I'm thankful that she no longer has to suffer. In Surreal, Chris Hugh. I'm very emotional. Oklahoma's own News 9.